Welcome back to Madginger Customs. We got a new project. It's a boat. We don't do boats. It's got an outboard. Also not something I'm familiar with. So we're gonna fumble along and we're gonna get it running and uh, hopefully get it on the lake so Jess can do some wakeboarding. So let me flip you around and I'll tell you what we're working with here. So this is a 1967 duo 14 and a half foot. The gentleman I bought this boat from was super proud of it. He rebuilt this boat himself with his hands, split the whole thing in half, new floors, all new fiberglass, put it all back together, and uh, he painted it himself. Now, I think the guy does a little bit of restoration work because when I bought it, he showed me this Mustang he was redoing. I mean, he's a car guy, right? Now, it's filthy. And, uh, you know, it, it's showing its age as far as some cracking in it. Um, obviously, it needs to all be cleaned up. But it's super cool. The shape is cool. Some of the gel coat's a little cracking, like right here. But for its age, a little bit right there. For its age, it's in good shape. I'm not, a, I'm not a ton of money into it, but he was up front. He said, look, I had the carbs rebuilt by the local marina, ran fine, uh, zipped it across the lake, and it shut off. <clears throat> I'm like, what do you mean, like locked up pistons shut off? And he goes... No, more like ignition. He goes, it, you can start it, it'll idle, but as soon as you give it any throttle, it dies immediately. So, <clears throat> I don't think it's like the CDI. They call that a switch box in the old Mercury 700. I think this thing's like a 77, 78 motor. So we're gonna get into this and we're gonna figure out why it doesn't run. We're gonna fix it. Guys, if you are a sweaty ginger, you're fatter in person. Or you just don't like to be in the sun. Go to Harbor Freight and get one of these things. This thing's like 60 bucks, 10 by 10. Get the $17.99 two year extended warranty because you know, you're gonna destroy this thing. And you could bring this thing back in a million pieces. And that guy, the manager told me, he goes, you bring this thing back and it's broken. He goes, I don't care how many pieces you bring it back in. I'm gonna give you a new one. I'm like, I'm gonna make you do that. I'm gonna hold you to that. And he goes, okay. We're gonna pull off this motor cover. Now, this boat has a sticker from 2022 on it. So I asked him, I go, well, you have a 2022 sticker on it. He goes, it wasn't in the water in 2022. He goes, I thought we were gonna fix it. He goes, honestly, Dave, he goes, my, my kids are all grown up. And he goes, I don't use the boat. So technically it was 2021. I said, I appreciate the honesty. Um, he seemed like a really like uh, uh, honest guy. I mean, everyone says that on Facebook. I bought this off Facebook Marketplace. I paid every single dollar of the asking price because it's cool. And honestly, it wasn't that much money. He gave me everything. Fish finder. He gave me a mooring cover. He walked me through, you know, how everything worked because I'm not really a boat guy. We had a boat. I sold it. I bought a plow jeep with the money. Just <laughs> not happy. She's still hobbling around on that bad ankle. Um, so anyway, let's tear into this Mercury. We're gonna diagnose. Um, this boat reeks like mothballs. Up in the front where the gas tank is, I can wiggle it and see. It has fuel in it, I don't know how bad it is. It's only a couple years, I would imagine. Being two stroke, it'll probably pop off. We did not try to start it when, when I was there because all we did was we, we got it to turn over with a battery. This is not seized. I'm not going to play this game where, oh my God, I got to free up the motor like half the YouTube guys do. This thing does turn over. I know it does. I heard it. Now, I don't know how to take the cover off. I think it you know, pops up or pops off. Oh. We'll figure it out, boys. You guys can like make fun of me in the comments. Oh, there's a button. Hey, 
That comes off. Might need to do a little fiberglass repair on that. And then it looks like, uh, some, oh, there you go, thing like that. Yep, 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 oh, and that goes, then that goes. And I think this pulls off the back. Oh yeah, oh, yeah there we go. All right, boys, minimal damage from inexperience, <clears throat> who cares? So let's get you in here. It is a three cylinder. Well, it appears to be a three cylinder. Okay. So I know that this is, this is the CDI or what Mercury guys call this a switch box. I've never actually heard that before. Three coils, combustion engine. How hard could this be, right? I mean, it is two stroke. What is that? Some type of rectifier, probably. And the stator. Now, what I was reading. When this thing turns over, it has like a low speed stator winding and then a high speed stator winding. So at idle, it's on the one winding. And then as it moves up into the RPM, it moves onto the other winding. So in my mind, just from what the guy told me, Maybe the second winding of the stator is bad and all it needs is a stator. And then we'll have to, we'll have to have a tool to take off the flywheel and all that. But, you know, if we could determine that, can we even hear this thing pop off? Well, that's all wet. Is this fuel line leaking? Is this fuel? This is fuel line. Oh, that's a fuel pump. It looks like I bet there's a, it's probably a filter in here. I don't know, guys, put in the comments because you can probably educate me and you guys are going to be like, dumbass, you could have done it this way. I I'm just fumbling around. But it does have fuel in there and it's got this little pumpy bulb. Oh, I can hear it. No, no. Oh, there's already gas up here. All right. No, no, I can hear it. Did you guys hear that? I don't. This has two carburetors. Two carburetors? Why well, wouldn't have three? Well, it has two carburetors. Oh, boys. <laughs> She's got mice. Um, okay. Yeah, she got mice. So we're going to have to replace this wire. A couple acorns. Those are, we'll eat those later. So I'm going to grab a battery. And maybe we can see if we can get it to roll over. This looks like a solenoid. Oh, that's a starter solenoid right there. So we could... Oh, look at the wire on the starter solenoid. Holy sh... Holy crap. I can't say that, can I? Let me... Can you see that? I'll zoom in on that later. Man, that's bad. All right. We got to cut a bunch of wiring up. But let's just see first. Can we get it to pop off? Um, we're going to have to put a new impeller in the drive, you know, for the water pump. So I think if we just popped it maybe with out water i won't run it but i just want to hear it pop <clears throat> well it's got compression there's one cylinder there's two there's three all right i heard you got to lubricate those boys i think i'm just gonna grab a battery that's the worst case scenario doesn't all mean nothing I want to make sure none of these wires up here, oh, these things are massacred. We're going to have to cut a significant amount of wire out of this thing. That's okay. That's the easy part. All right, let's see if we can at least, at least flick it. Um, okay, yeah, it moved. Okay. Um, mm, choke. Hmm. Okay. Now, now, you know, does it have spark? Does it not have spark? Is it not getting fuel through this pumpy thing? This is like the bulb is firm. So I'm assuming it's probably got fuel. 
Maybe we should pull plugs. It turns over okay. I mean, unless it just has no compression, maybe. Now we'll just pull this top one. All right, mazel. Not super tight, like maybe a uh, previous owner had them out. Oh my God. Well, that looks like detonation. There's no fuel on this at all. That's not good. None of that's good, boys. Looks like that piston came apart. It's not good. None of that's good. Come on, let's just pull them all. This one looks like. Well, this one looks okay. So we got one cylinder that is ruined. None of that's good. <laughs> well, I might have bought a boat anchor. That one looks normal too. But this one looks like it's covered in aluminum. And in that, you guys, that's detonation. It melted the piston probably. So, there is no spark though in that cylinder. Should we pull this whole thing and look? Oh man. All right, guys, um, I checked all spark. Instead of with that screwdriver, I actually cleaned up the plugs and then grounded the plug in every, all three cylinders had spark. So it's clearly not getting fuel. So I don't know if necessarily this works with two strokes and I don't see why it wouldn't, but I got some two stroke and a spray bottle. I gave it a sniff like that and I turn on the ignition shouldn't it run I'll well, see big fireball probably hold on and the battery goes dead perfect could also be because the uh, terminals are kind of corroded I think in here boost all right fire in a hole let's see if it works do something, right? Turn the ignition on. A little bit of choke. I don't. I don't know. Well. Okay. Okay. I don't. I mean, I don't know how many cylinders that is, or if it's any. If it's just one. It smells like two stroke, though. All right, boys. We got a fuel problem. Clearly. Maybe we should just pull the carbs off and see what's doing in there. Just throw them on the bench and douche them out. Clip all these wires while we're at it. Probably should do that. I pulled this screw and this screw which drained the bowls. And both of them had plenty of gas in them. So I'm assuming um, clogged jets.
same situation as when we did the shoebox carbs. I uh, I like this thing. This is a Harbor Freight um, ultrasonic cleaner. Pine saw. Pine saw works good on carbs. Start running in. Oof. Stings my cuts. That'll sting your cuts. Oh, it's already going to town. Normally I'd pull the floats out, but it doesn't matter. We'll throw that in there. All right, so we're back at it with, uh, with the Harbor Freight Ultrasonic Cleaner. This is the little one, right? I didn't preheat it, I probably should have. We're just gonna throw everything in it. So we're gonna let this thing cook. Then we're gonna hit it with a toothbrush and we'll see how she looks. We're gonna put everything back together. In the meantime, I'm gonna order some spark plugs and get some gaskets. So uh, when you see us again, I'll have these back together. Well, boys, that is the end result of these carbs. These gaskets are whooped. Um, Try to figure out where I could get them. Sierra makes them. I could order them, but it just so happened. You guys keep a roll of gasket material on the shelf. And then you can just cut them out. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to cut some out. Maybe we'll throw a little, like, gasket shellac on them and stick them down and make sure they don't slide around. And then, I mean, who knows? I guess we're going to try to fire them back in. It's, you know, maybe it'll start. Maybe it'll run. I'm going to cut these gaskets out. And then we're going to go reassemble. This is what I came up for gaskets. You know it's easy to cut gaskets with? If you get a, uh, a set of body scissors for RC cars, because they're slightly curved and they're really small, and they cut out holes nicely. So that's a good way to do it. So we're just gonna strap this thing on. I'm sure the guys that work on these things are in the comments losing their minds because I'm doing everything wrong. Once we determine that we got a runner here, we got something that's going to give us a little bit of enjoyment. And by that, I mean headaches and years of headaches because it's a boat and that's all boats do is give you headaches. Gentle. Don't cross thread. Carb is back in. Let's get the fuel hooked back up. Every hose clamp is the wrong size. Whoever worked on this is like, I'm just going to use every hose clamp I have in my box. And none of them, none of them are correct at all. That's a plug I took out of there. This is the plug that is supposed to be the factory style. I mean, that's clearly one's got the strap and one doesn't. I don't know. And boys, I just found a big, huge problem with this. And we may have to... Man, this may put this boat in the junk pile. I don't know if you can see that in there. There's like an aluminum bridging right here. I don't know if that's from detonation or... From what I read, it's like, oh, the top cylinder, two cylinders are fed by one carb, and one guy is online bitching. He's like, it's terrible design. It, you know, overheats and melts the, the piston. I mean, it has compression. Man, should I just stop now? I don't even know what that is in there. The other ones don't have it. I should try to pull this off. I don't know if we pull this end. Maybe this is like the top, like a cylinder head, and you can pop it off, and you can see the pistons. Oh, well, you should try that. Hmm. You got to pull the entire engine apart to see what's in here. And this is basically, I just pulled off, like, the cover for the water jacket, I guess. So, <clears throat> here's my plan. My plan is, it's probably going to need a motor. But it's a cool boat, and if I could get another outboard, but let's us... Just see if we can't get it to run, right? I mean, it popped and it sputtered. So if I can get it to run and idle, 
I mean, why not, right? So I'm gonna hook it up and we're gonna put fuel to it and we're gonna put a battery on it and we're not gonna worry about that impeller because we may not use it, but let's just see if we can get her running. And that's our plan. Okay. You know how the choke works now. Hit it with the old juice. The old Zeus juice. boys that actually sounds healthy how hot are we oh not too bad a little warm all right so i think what needs to happen is i think we need to fix this gasket get this back on and throw some ears on and i know that pump's not going to be any good but maybe this thing's just going to run hmm I love the smell of two-stroke though. That's nice. All right, so really nothing to see. A little bit of gasket maker on it. Slap that back in. Plugs back in. Um, the bottom of the drive's got to come off because we got to get a new impeller in it so we can uh, make sure that this is getting proper cooling. You know, how did, the, how did that cylinder end up like that? Uh, was it starved because it was super lean because that main jet was all plugged up on the top? I'm not really sure. Uh, but like I said, we're going to run it. And uh, we, we have a very small lake down the street. And uh, if you die on the lake, the lake patrol just drags your broken carcass of a boat home for you. All right, boys, we finally got some parts that came in. About time. So, this is basically an impeller kit. A couple gaskets, little spinny, watery thing. I've never done this before. It doesn't look that hard, right? Pull a couple bolts, I guess, in here. Let's see here, maybe one there. Yeah, see that? There's one that goes through here. I think supposedly. Oh yeah, there's one under there too. I wonder if you gotta pull this down. I don't know how that works. We'll figure it out. We're gonna knock this out, pull this out the bottom, put this thing on, lube her up, fire it back together. Hit me in the comments. What would you guys do? You know, it, it runs good. You know, uh, do I think cylinder one's a little hurt? Yeah, maybe, but I mean, pfft. I may run another 20 years like that. Would you guys just send it down the road? Or would you guys keep it and run it? You know, Jess is kind of indifferent at this point, but hit me in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. Guys, when you're working on the ground, don't kneel on concrete and don't kneel on tile floors. Don't kneel on asphalt. You won't destroy your knees. I've done service work for over 20 years and the front of my knees are so damaged from kneeling on them that I can't kneel on them anymore. So 
do yourself a favor. Get yourself a nice pad. You know? And no, do I know how this comes apart? No. Should I watch a YouTube video? Probably. Is this attached? Oh, this attached to this. I should probably watch a YouTube video. This feels like it's coming off of this. Some type of sacrificial lamb here. Wow, that is tight. Boys, that was tight like a tiger. <laughs> I almost blew my elbow out. Did you guys hear my back crack? That was fairly vicious. Man, that hurt. I'm all right. Don't, don't send help. Not ginger. Oh, I smell gear oil. Oh, it smells like gear oil. Is that supposed to smell like gear oil? Don't worry, guys. Jess is in the house. So if I, if I'm screaming in pain. She's gonna limp out here with her gimpy foot. Because she's, you know, she's convalescing that bad ankle. You gotta, you guys do Taekwondo? You gotta do a key op. You gotta, you gotta, when, you, when you're really pushing hard, you're like, yeah! You know, it's like power. Is this coming apart? What is, there's a dude that works on Mercury outboards and he's screaming right now. Idiot, you gotta take out this screw, you're stupid. You're ham handed. There was a guy in the last comment of my, one of my other videos and he's like, he's explaining to me the, the ham handed comment. Well shite, that doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Hmm. I'll try to take off these, these little fins here, my swim fins. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but this thing, these swim fins, uh, make your boat so it'll fly. I don't know if you knew that or not. So if you have a boat and you're like, man, I'm really looking to get her up and out. You know what I mean? Like you want to send it. You got to get these things. I think these are like the Superman 4000 or something like that. Okay. There it is. It's like my... Dun, dun, dun. Okay. okay. I got this thing out of here. That thing. Now let's look in here. Oh, there's another one in there, boys. We're golden. All right. See, we learn together. You guys know what's up. You've done this with me before. I just kind of fumble through it. We work it out. You're like, but Dave, we want to see you crush your own legs. Is this thing heavy? Let me see. Oh, it's got some weight to it. It's not super heavy though. Let me get this nut off of here. You know, another thing is, I could have sworn the guy showed me when I bought this, like how to get the motor to go up, like to tilt up. And I could have sworn it, there was like a button. Hit me in the comments if you know how to tilt this thing up. Because he's got this thing you put in a trailer to hold it up, you know, so you don't damage the transom. See, I know, I know boat terminology, transom. Mansions. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is that broken? No. Nope. Not... But how do I get this out? Because I can't get the motor up. Uh, damn it. This drive is all effed up. I got this thing out. Here's what we're looking at. So here's what we want to get off of this, this, this thing right here, because this is where the Whirlyberg is. So let's just see, let's just see how many more times my GoPro can shut off and uh, we'll accomplish nothing at all. You know, because why would we? Yeah, that works, all right, we'll go with that. It says oil in it, so I guess that's 
look, if it's got oil in it, if it's leaking oil, that means it has oil, right? That's what you learn if you're a old Jeep guy. Or if you own a Harley. What a Dyna. Really wasn't a leaker though. Twin cam. Wasn't an Evo. Didn't have a lot of miles on it though. Or even that on there. This hog comes up and off, I know that. Pop this little rubber ring off of here. We're gonna slide it up and out. I don't know if that comes with the new one or not. We're gonna find out though, together. And then you pop this hog off of here. Oh, I think if I turn this, this will come out easier. Nope, I lied, it will not. Does this pipe come out of here? What is this? Nope, doesn't look like it pulls out. Ooh. Send it right to this right to the sky. Oh wow. Okay. So everything in here was absolutely destroyed and cooked. So gentlemen, this is what happens when you run something like this dry. Now, there's supposed to be a round thing in here. Probably shouldn't have destroyed that piece. I'm gonna have to flatten that out. Oh, it's in there, it's in there. All right, so let me show you this. So this thing has a cutout. I don't know if you can see that. A cutout in it. And there's a piece right here. See? And this has a groove. All right guys, fun fact. It comes with a new one. So this kit is basically all this stuff. Now, uh, admittedly, I don't know where half this stuff goes, but it looks like there is an upper and a lower gasket. So this would be the lower gasket. Yeah, like that. And then we'd have to pick an upper that match the old one so we were uh, we were going to do that but we got to get this one out of here because this one's all banged up too oh yeah she's she's crisp this one is this one has this one has seen some 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 damage she's seen some she's seen some stuff guys she's not she's not long for the world Boys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I struggled with this to get the water tube lined up and the splines lined up for probably an hour. But it goes up flat now. Holy crap. I'm legitimately whooped from that. That is, probably should have got a, a, top, a strap, like a ratchet strap or something. How much help do you guys usually have? People help you? No one helps me. Sometimes Jess does. Not often. Not often enough, I'll tell you that. I thought it was a good idea to buy a boat. It's the thing not even going gear now. So uh, my buddy Bill dropped off some ears for us. I'm gonna blow my fingers off. Ugh. So we got some ears. So we can hook up some water to this hog. You know, if it'll even run again. 
Can't even guarantee that, honestly. She's a little hard starting, but once she's running, she runs good. Like, super good. Like, scary good. You know when you guys, like, you fire up a car, and it's like, I don't know how many guys used to race, but we used to race in Duros. You know, we do ugh, four cylinder enduro. We do in, in figure eights. And the car would always run the best right before it blew up. Is that where I'm at with this thing? I hope not. I hope not, guys. Honestly. She's a unit. I should probably go put it in gear before I do anything else. Theory, if I put it in gear, it should work. I heard something make a clunk. Oh yeah. All right. And just as I get it running, the battery goes dead in the camera. So let's try again. There's water coming out here and some coming out here and then some coming out down here, right there. But I, it was running and it's not hot. So let's try it again. Because no one will ever believe me that it runs. Hey, look at my little P15. That's going to be our next one. All right, let's try it again. I'll turn the water back on. All right, take two with a battery. Uh. Right, guys that's gonna do it for this episode of Magic Ninja Customs we did what we needed to do with this boat right we got it running we solved some problems we know it's hurt hey hit me up in the comments what would you do if this was your boat would you run it would you kick it down the road would you repower it she's a nice unit so moving forward we're gonna get some work done on the shoebox I know you guys keep hearing that we also have a new vehicle in the fleet we're gonna be working on we just dragged this thing home pretty excited about it we bought a panel truck, right? A P15 panel van. What are we doing with that? We're gonna build this thing into a hot rod ice cream truck. Not only is it gonna be low and rowdy, it's also gonna be functional as an ice cream truck. So, if you guys could like and subscribe, share our videos, we'd appreciate it. We love those comments, guys. You guys are hilarious. We love you guys in the comments section. What I'm going to do right now is a couple coffee shout outs because we have the Bias Coffee link. And so, these guys are the real MVPs. Patrick Rakowski bought 10 cups of coffee. Patrick, thank you so much. That really keeps this channel moving. Bob Klein bought a cup. Jim Dupree bought three cups. Don L bought three cups. And then Chuck, no last name, he, he bought three cups as well. We really appreciate that. If you guys want to support the channel and you want to do it for free, the affiliate links we put in the description, the Amazon links for like the Jaeger tools with the ratcheting wrenches or anything like that. You guys don't actually have to buy those items. You can click on those links. It takes you to Amazon. You can do normal shopping. That helps the channel out, costs you nothing to do that, right? So if you wanna support the channel, that's an easy way to do it. Now, remember, what you see here, every video, if I can do this, you can do this. Thanks for watching.